To do your scene, the first thing that you're going to do is a Google image search. So this is going to allow you to get your own custom sprite. Click on images. Then from here, what you're going to do is click on tools, click size, click icon, then click color, then click transparent. So then from here, you're going to decide on the one you want. So I'm just gonna click on this one to bring up the larger image. You're going to two finger click on it and then you'll save your image. And then what you wanna do is just give it a name that would make sense. So then we'll hit save. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna go back over to code and you're gonna click on the animation tab in the top left corner. Now I happen to have one image already saved in my animations. You need to have two. So I'm just gonna cover how to add the one that we just saved. So you click on the plus for new animation. Then from here, click upload image. Then you're going to scroll to find your image and then click on open. So then from here, if you wanna change the name again, you can. So for example, I'm gonna get rid of the dot PNG just to make it a little easier. Then I'm gonna click on the code tab. All right, so then next what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add our position and animation block. So remember P-A-D-D, -D, position, animation are the first things we're going to do. So we're gonna add a position and an animation block. Now I'm going to name my first sprite wolf um, because I'm going to have a wolf howling at the moon. And then if I click on the drop down arrow, I can choose my black wolf. I'm going to repeat the process by adding another sprite. This one I'm going to call moon. I'm gonna set the animation to crescent moon. All right, so then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the grid just so that we can actually specify a position other than 200, 200. Um, so I want my wolf to appear um, about right here. Um, and so that would give me a position of 200, 250. So notice how I'm using my pointer to figure that out. Um, so then I would just go ahead and put that in. Um, my moon, I want to be up here. So for example, 350, 50 would be a good position for my moon. All right, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a background. So you would do that by clicking on drawing. Um, we're gonna add in a dark blue background. Again, it's totally up to you what you want for the background. So basically what we're going to do next is we're going to do the details. So remember position, animation, details. So our background is one of our details. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a green ellipse for the ground. So again, we're dipping our paintbrush in the green paint and then I'm going to put in an ellipse um, I want the center to be way down at the bottom so that you only see about half of the ellipse. So I'm going to put the um, I'm going to put the center of the ellipse at 200, 400, and what that's going to do is it's going to be very far down so that you almost see just like a, a half circle. Um, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify how wide I want it and how tall I want it. All right, so then from here. I'm going to put in a draw sprites block, which you would click on world to get that. So remember, position, animation, details, draw. In other words, P-A-D-D, -D, also known as pad. Okay, so then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a text block. So you're gonna do that with drawing. Um, what you're going to wanna do is specify the text size first. So just like if you were doing something in a Microsoft Word document or a Google Doc or a Google Slideshow, you would specify the text size before you actually add the text. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a color for my text. Um, it's not necessary that you need to have a different color than the fill color of your shape, but I happen to want my text to be yellow. So now I'm dipping my paintbrush in the yellow paint and I'm adding a text block to go at the end. Um, so then from here, I'm going to tell my computer what I want my text to say. And then from here, 
I'm going to put in the position. So for example, I maybe want my text to go at, um, you know, toward the left-hand side of the screen. So like at a position of 30 or 32 or so, and then maybe over here. So notice I'm moving my pointer um, to figure out exactly where I want my text to be. So, um, you know, maybe somewhere around 50 to um, 120, so X of 50, um, Y of 120, so that it goes across the screen. Um, again, it might take you a little while to figure out what you want your coordinates to be. So right now I'm just going to click on run just to see what it looks like. So you'll see that, um, you know, that my text maybe needs to move over a little bit. I can either change what I'm saying or I can, in this case, maybe move my X position so that it's a little bit farther to the left. You would do that by putting in a smaller X position. So say like 40, for example. Um, anyway, then if I hit reset and run, then you'll see how it moves over and that looks like it would be more acceptable so it's not cut off. And then the last thing you want to do is kind of just take a look at your sprites and see if they're at a good size. Um, so for example, my moon gets cut off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the sprites menu and then I'm going to add a sprite scale block to go underneath my moon animation. So remember again, we've got position, animation, and then details. So this would be a detail about my moon. To make it smaller, what I would do is I would put in a decimal. So for example, maybe 0 0.3 would make it a lot smaller. And then if I click reset and run, now it looks a lot better. The last thing I might choose to do is move the text a little bit over to the left. Again, you would use a smaller number reset, run, and it might take a few tries to get everything positioned exactly the way that you want it. Um, so that's pretty much the basics of how you would complete this assignment. Um, please do not copy my example exactly, but I hope that you find this useful.